Friends, welcome to my workplace at Ranaghat, West Bengal, India. This is a cataract with grade 3 nuclear sclerosis. In this case, I want to demonstrate the stop and chop technique of fecal ossification. This is the main incision with a 2.8 millimeter steel keratome. The patient is under topical anesthesia. And now, this is a side port on the right side of the main incision. And this is another side port on the left side of the main incision. And now, to demonstrate the hyrexis nicely, um, using tripon blue dye to stain the anterior capsule. The dye is applied underneath an air bubble and it is applied in such a way that there is uniform staining of the anterior capsule. And now the dye is washed out with BSS and after that the anterior chamber is filled up with 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose. The dye is applied over the corneal epithelium also for better visibility. Now capsulorexis with the help of uh, utrita forceps. The capsule is torn and a tag is raised and this tag is guided in such a way that a round adequate sized rexis is achieved. Size of this rexis is about 5.5 millimeter. And now is the time for hydro dissection. BSS is injected just under the anterior capsular rim with the help of a 27 gauss cannula fluid wave goes to the opposite equator, hydro delineation is also done and now is the time to introduce the tip of the FACO needle. In this case I am going to demonstrate the stop and chop technique of FACO emulsification. For this technique a trench is made first and while the sculpting is done vacuum is very less. In this case I am using 80 millimeter of mercury vacuum but even 50 millimeter of mercury vacuum is okay. Flow rate is only 20 ml per minute. Ultrasonic energy depends on the hardness of the nucleus. Since this is a grade 3 nuclear sclerosis ultrasonic energy in this case is 60 percent. Now as we make the trench we must not push the nucleus. We must sculpt and move, sculpt and move. Don't just move without sculpting. So we must use the ultrasonic energy, cut and move. And now this is division of the nucleus into two heminuclei. And now each heminucleus is chopped into smaller pieces using higher vacuum. I'm using 400 vacuum at this time with 40 ml per minute flow rate. And the two heminuclei are removed in no time. And this is the epinucleus. At this time, I'm in FACO 3 mode, where the vacuum is 250 and flow rate is 25. And ultrasonic energy is only 40%. So, nucleus and epinucleus has been nicely managed. And now, cortical cleanup. In this case, I'm going to use bimanual irrigation aspiration. First, I irrigate, hydrate the cortex all around and then I go through the right side port with the irrigation and the aspiration is through the left side port. Aspirate and feed the cortex through the aspirating port. 
In this case, I had to feed a lot because the vacuum was less only 200. But from now onwards, I'm going to use higher vacuum, say about 300 vacuum and 30 fluoride, and see how fast this portion of the cortex is removed. Now the irrigation is from the left side, aspiration from the right and with 300 vacuum the cortical cleanup is faster. There is hardly any cortex, any fibers to be polished. But there are some cortex here and there. It is removed nicely and now is the time for hydroimplantation of an intraocular lens. This is a single piece monofocal intraocular lens. It goes into the capsular bag and the Visco is nicely cleaned. Whatever visco was there in the lumen of the cartridge. And when we use bimanual irrigation aspiration, sometimes the anterior chamber becomes very shallow. To maintain the anterior chamber, we can inject air at this time, and this is moxifloxacin. And then I close the side ports by hydrating corneal stroma on either side of these stab incisions. So the side ports are nicely closed. And now a final lavage of the anterior chamber is done with the help of this 23 gauze Simco cannula. The antechamber is nicely formed, very nicely formed. And then the integrity of all the wounds are checked with the help of a cotton tipped Janssen bard. Then few drops of moxie is applied over the ocular surface and the case is concluded. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will inspire you to do stop and chop technique. This is a basic technique. If you master this technique, you know how to trench as well as you know how to hold a piece with vacuum and chop it. Be a great surgeon and serve your patients with love, respect, compassion and great surgical competence.